water bottle sound design. So the first thing I'm going to do is record some sounds. So I have a pencil and a water bottle. And I'm going to use that as my sound. I think we need some effects on here. OTT. Reverb. EQing. Denoiser. Microphaser. Ring shifter. I've literally never used this before. Flanger. Exciter. Overdrive. Channel EQ. More tonal. Stereo spread. Limiter. Let's see what our entire thing sounds like. Now let's put some drums. What I'll do is find an electronic drum that suits this. I'll use an app on my phone to find a good tempo. My phone is actually dead, so while my phone is charging, I'll find a good snare. This one seems good. I'm gonna go find what that tonal resonance was. It was 2220. Some EQ change to reduce muddiness, reduce some of the lower frequencies, and make them less tonal. Another EQing for less tonal jumps. Change sample length on my snare so it's quicker. Voucher for more snappiness. Limiter so it doesn't get too loud. Reverb. My god, Chromoverb is my favorite reverb ever. Seriously. Tremolo. Exciter. I'm gonna work on the kick now. More limiter. Fat FX. Channel EQ. OTT. I actually don't think it's too good on this kick. Stereo spread. Exciter. Flanger. Or flanger. I don't even know. Sub bass. Thick. <laughs> Pitch shifter. Coacher. Okay, time to find a good tempo. Motorcycles. Let's find a tempo. Now I am going to take a quick sampler and put that in there. And then slices. So we have some clips. Two limiters. What's up with people playing such loud music? I am going to quantize these notes. I'm going to put imaging so it goes straight to the center. That's a good sound. We have 10 sounds to work with, but I do think that some of these sounds are a bit off. Because it has these little parts at the end that play when the note finishes. Like, can you hear that? Mm. Trying to get rid of those. Those sounds aren't even being accounted for. Hold up. There we go. Okay, now let's take some of these sounds and put it into our song. More limiter! Okay, let's put some effects on here. With an amp. Coacher. Lots of coacher. A little more. A little more will do the trick. What if I use an audio clip of my YTP in this song? But I will unfortunately have to get rid of that frequency because it's pretty annoying. I just made like a really cool sound on here. 